Welcome to the Dice Tower. This is the Origin Summer Preview with the Dice Tower, done at the Origins Game Fair 2013 in conjunction both with the Dice Tower and the Game and Manufacturers Association, Gamma. In this series of videos, we talk to different publishers and designers about games that have just come out or that are about to come out in the future. Here's today's video with your host, Eric Summer. The Dice Tower coverage of Origins 2013 continues. I'm with Jay Tummelson from Rio Grande Games. Hi, Jay. Good morning. Jay. Good morning. We are looking at the highly anticipated, the latest expansion to Dominion Guilds. Yes. Tell us about it. Well, it's a small one. Okay. Uh, I think people knew that. 13 new uh, Kingdom cards. Uh, the sort of cool, neat new thing. Uh, that the other ones didn't have, other than, of course, these great new cards, is there are four cards that you can overpay for. Ah. Uh, and when you buy them, when you acquire them, when you gain them, when you pay for them. Yes. You know, if you gain them in some other way, no. you can't overpay for them. But when you're actually, you know, buying the card, you can, at that moment, overpay for it, and then you get something. Yes, extra. okay. Extra. Um, for example, uh, we have Masterpiece. Do I show it this way? No, you can leave it on the table. Leave it on the table. Yep. Um, uh, you get a silver for every extra one copper, one whatever, okay. yeah. that you pay for it. So you have to pay for the Masterpiece, which is three. And then, but if you pay five, four, you get a couple of silvers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, four you get one extra one silver. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have a doctor, and when you buy that for each one you overpay, you get to look at the top card of your deck, trash it, discard it, and put it back. Okay. So, obviously, if you put it back, you probably don't want to pay two because you'll keep looking at it and putting it back. Right. Stonemason. I am remind myself. Uh, you can overpay for it. When you do, you get two action cards each costing the amount you overpay. So, okay. if you pay an extra six, you can get two action cards costing six. Okay. Okay. And Harold, the other one, uh, when you overpay, you overpay, for each one you overpay, look through your discard pile and put a card from it on top of your deck. Again, you'd have to decide how much you're going to overpay to start out with. Right. So, if you have some idea what's in your discard pile, you say, oh, I want four cards back on top of my deck. You go through and put those back on top of your deck. This is interesting because my initial reaction to the overpay mechanism is, well, sometimes I've got an extra coin or two when I want to buy a particular card, and this lets me use those extra couple of coins. Right. But the way you're describing it, there's a lot more strategy here that I want to really overpay for something yes. to get a massive advantage in addition to buying the card. Right. Okay? Right. right. In fact, um, maybe, I haven't played enough to tell you, you might want to get the card just so you can overpay for it and you're not that interested in the not card. Not that interested. It's almost a bonus. The card is almost a bonus in addition to the overpay It could be. Activity. It, it certainly okay. could be. Uh, the game also comes with these nifty little coins, which others have, because some of the cards allow you to acquire the coins. And these can be used as money in future turns? Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, that's the big deal, okay. I guess, uh, with the, the new things. The, the other cards, of course, they're nifty and nice, and people want to do them. And I love and that we have the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker. In yes, it. well, see, it's uh, guilds, yes. right? And everybody's now joining guilds. You know, they become the different kinds of things. We have stonemasons, and we have, you know, as you said, the butcher, baker, and candlestick maker. Uh, and, of course, we have a tax man, and we have a merchant guild. So a, a lot of the, uh, the pieces or the cards are sort of based on that. Excellent. And where is the Ark of Dominion at this point? Is this the last we'll see of Dominion? Oh, I don't think so. Uh, it is the last, as, as we've both, Donald and I, mentioned several times, it's sort of the last of what we've got so far. Okay. Uh, and we may do uh, keeping with the same Dominion theme, uh, a few more things in the future, hmm. um, but I think the next place we go with Dominion is someplace 
new. Someplace new. Someplace new. Standalone set, a new direction. One of one of one of the reasons is because I think we've kind of run out of interesting new normal things to do. Okay. Uh, you know, you can always duplicate, replicate, make things ridiculously complicated. Yes. Um, but we really don't want to go there. Um, uh, we feel we've got gone about as far as we can with what we want to do with the game in terms of the complexity and the level of things you can do. Um, and I think from this point on, if we did much more, then it would be into the replication. Right. Um, and I'm not sure people would be interested. I don't know. Mm. Uh, I, th I think if it gets much more complicated, then it's not Dominion. Right. Could be something else, and maybe we, we do something like that. Um, but both Donald and I feel that adding more cards at this point is reaching into people's pockets and stealing money from them okay. without giving them yeah. really something that they're going to want or need. And of course, I'm sure some people think we've already done too much, and that's <laughs> fine. You know, we've never said you have to acquire every right. yes. every expansion or or, uh, or all of them or anything like that. But we really feel that for the most part, we've come to the end of the story. Uh, but we have some ideas that we're thinking about, and we may do some smaller sets, you know, uh, in the future. You know, two or three cards that work in some particular way or whatever, but we're not really looking right now at any more expansions of this particular thing. But we are looking at some other ideas that I think people will like. Uh, Interesting. So if you are looking for guilds, this is premiering here at Origins. Yes. How about general distribution? How close are we there? Uh, our official release date from distribution is next Tuesday the 18th. Okay. So distributors are allowed to start shipping it to their uh, retail customers on the 18th, which means many of them have it on the 19th. Excellent. So a lot really, of, in the next week or two from now, we should be seeing these in stores. Everywhere. I would guess the stores everywhere will have it starting Wednesday next week, because many of them, of course, are within a day or two Excellent. of the distributor that they use. So yeah, middle of next week, uh, it'll be in stores. Um, one other question that you didn't ask, but people ask all the time: sure. storage solutions. Yes. Uh, now we're now that we're sort of at the end, or, or, or you nearly. Know so, how many cards you've got? Um, I'm currently working right now with two companies who have each a different storage solution. Okay. And I think the direction. Well, I know the direction that we want to go now is uh, we're just going to find the best ones. Ones. Plural. And uh, because. In looking at what people want and talking to what people want, there isn't one. There isn't one answer. Okay. You know, somebody wants this one, somebody yeah. else wants this one, and so on. And so rather than try to pick one and do it ourselves, uh, we'd rather make games, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> yes. But there's other people who would rather like to do stories. Sure. So we're going to license um, several, well, at least two and maybe more, and then they'll be out there and people can pick and choose which one fits their needs, their desires the best. But I would guess that based on what the people I'm talking to are saying, that we'll start seeing those in the next uh, two or three months. Oh, great. And maybe a little sooner, probably not a lot sooner. It kind of depends. Since I'm not publishing it or printing it or producing it, mm -hmm. whatever word you want to use, right. I can't say exactly how quick it's going to be. But I think they're all looking to do it relatively soon yeah. once once they get to go ahead. Can you share details on that front? Are we looking at wood boxes? Are we looking at cardboard? Wood? Combinations of different things. Okay. Some, some people are looking at wood, some at cardboard, uh, some at plastic. And, you know, that's because some people want wood, some people want cardboard, right, yes. some people want plastic. I and just want dividers. That's all I... You know, well, maybe you can uh, make a suggestion and... <laughs> You know, one of the issues is I think nobody really knows what the interest is going to be, how many, et cetera, and so mm -hmm. on. And I think based on that, putting it in the hands of someone who can focus on that and focus on what they think is best right. 
and on relatively small numbers and then see what it goes. I think at least one of the people I'm talking to is going to do uh, whatever that thing's called. Um, raise money. Oh, Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Well, okay. They're going to do a Kickstarter or one of those right, kinds of crowd things. Crowdfunding. Uh, yeah, crowdfunding to to figure out how many to make and start and so on. Excellent. Well, Jay, thank you very much for spending some time with us this morning, and uh, I hope Guilds does very well. Thank you very much. Thank Have you. a good day. Enjoy the rest of the convention. I will. Okay. Thanks so much for watching The Dice Tower and the Origin Summer Preview. We'll see you next time. I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.